man. Get out of there. It's going to be a good day, y'all. Peru? That's a long way away. I could give some to the birds. Good morning, kitties. Hey, bad kitty. Be bad. Quit being bad. No Sheba for you. Here you go, little buddy. Hey, Millie, come get you some mango. You gotta take it from the stick, cause I know you like fingers. Oh, there you go. Really? Now it's not very nice. I ordered these all the way from Peru, just for you guys, and you're gonna throw it on the floor. Connor, I know you want to eat some fingers. All right, so maybe I didn't order them all the way from Peru just for you guys, but I did go to Food Line and pick them up and cut them up for you. So show some respect, golly. There, I'm just gonna put it in your food bowl and you can get it yourselves. How about that? It's good. Connor, you love mango. Eat some mango. Making it rain. Here you go, tomatoes. Just get a little drink. Okay, we got everybody watered up. Beautiful day today, you guys. The sun is shining. I'm in a great mood. We're headed to grassroots here in just a little bit. We're going to stop by the big garden and check on it. And I don't know what we're going to get into today. Y'all just going to hang out with me if you want to. Let's see what we get into. Golly, it's pretty today. Look at this blue sky. Man, it is windy though, so we need to get us a hat real quick. And I'm embarrassed to even show you guys my back seat. Um, because I've got, uh, let's see, a lab kit for growing some bacteria for the compost. You know, everybody's got bottle rockets and Roman candles in their back seat. That was left over from New Year's. Oh, and a gold, a gold panning pan for uh, our sand mine. I want to try to see if there's any gold over there. But nonetheless, we also have a hat, which is why we came here. All right, let's go check on the big garden. It's pretty tired, but it's given us a lot of food throughout the winter. We've eaten a bunch of greens, broccoli, still got some cabbage out here left, I do believe. But uh, nonetheless, this thing has just kicked butt all winter long, even as rainy as it has been. I mean, look, we even had to dig a little trench down here just to get the water out. Had a tremendous amount of rain this winter, been super, super wet. But the garden has done its job and fed us all winter. Oh, wow. All these big, nice cabbages. Those are beautiful. And Dad's been eating the stink out of some collards. He's done ripped up most of the plants. But we just come through and harvest leaves off of the collard stalks. That way they can continue to grow. And you can kind of perpetually harvest off of them all winter. I think that's the right word, perpetually. Throwing out big words already this morning and the turnip greens did fantastic this winter look at these big old guys golly that is pretty we've eaten a lot of greens off of here mix them in with the root ball there just delicious and holy smokes look at the size of this cabbage that is ginormous oh that's so awesome we got a couple of them still left through here man that looks awesome Let's go over here and check on our clover. If y'all remember, we did this to add nitrogen back to the soil as a cover crop. And we got a lot of hen bit, this weed right here, popping up through it. But that is a nice stand of clover. It should flower here in the springtime, give the honeybees something to eat. And speaking of springtime, won't be long in the scouts for the purple martins should be coming through, finding their homes. And I am so excited for spring man we're getting we're getting close like i can almost taste it just a few more weeks and we're gonna be 
changing this whole entire garden over so now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button down there and the notifications bell so you can garden along with us all summer long and the broccoli is pretty much spent over here in our big raised beds that we put in a few months ago it's pretty much done so we'll transition this over i'd like to do some potatoes in these big old tubs i think they would work out well this cabbage did okay uh i'm not exactly sure it looks like it might have stayed a little bit too wet in these raised beds just because we've had so much rain but we still got our garlic and onions and uh this is some collards the collards did pretty good again I think it's just stayed a little bit too wet in these containers for them. And here's our yellow onions. Remember, we um, put some wheat straw right here down in these containers to kind of protect them from the frost. And it had the seeds on them. So a lot of this, what you're seeing, is just the wheat grass coming up. But you can definitely tell the onion, big old fat stalk, pop it up in between. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to do here to get this grass out we may just wait until it warms up and just naturally kills off the grass because it's going to be kind of hard to come in here now and just you know just get only the grass out it would take forever so let's try that we'll just wait when it gets hot hopefully that grass will die down and we'll expose our onions okay let's head down to grassroots and see what all of our plant nerd friends are up to Let's go see what Larry's doing today. Hey, there's my best friend Cam. Hey, best friend Cam. What you doing today, bud? Um, selling all of your Ethereums. Selling all of my Ethereums? Yeah. Are you crazy, lady? Yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> you selling some for real? Like all of them. Seriously, like all of them? Well. I mean, that's okay. I was just, who in the world is buying all of them? Setting them out a little bit at a time, so these are about to be cleaned. Oh, but I like this one, Cam. <laughs> well, take it home. <laughs> I'm just picking. Look at the size of the leaf on this thing. That's huge. Which one is this one? I don't forgot. Magnificum silver. Well, hey, we gotta sell plants if we want to buy plants. So I just cleaned off most of this. Yeah. Oh, that one's beautiful. That's Padatum, right? Yeah. Ethereum Padatum. I might oh. buy this one. Yeah. This one's really That's been pretty. your favorite for a little while now. Yeah. That's a nice little luxurian. Yeah, your table over here looks kind of scarce, man. Well, I was clearing it for all the new stuff that's about to come out. <laughs> all right. Then I put our bit over here. Yeah. Like that looks cool underneath the tie. Oh, that does look cool. Big old long. Looks like a... Necktie, doesn't it? <laughs> I've never thought about it like that. <laughs> What's Larry doing today? Yeah. Larry, you being... Cam says you're being bad. I don't believe that. Are you being bad today, buddy? You're not bad. You're a good boy. The greenhouse looks good, Cameron. Uh, well, I kind of started rearranging because I was sick of the way that it was looking. Yeah. And then I realized about halfway through that it probably the arrangement that I had initially was the best arrangement. So you had to rearrange to the original arrangement? Well, I think I'm trying to find other ways around it. That way yeah. I don't see the same thing again. Well, it looks good out here, man. Everything's nice and clean and organized. You've done a good job, buddy. I'm proud of you. Our banana keeps dropping flowers, though, don't it? Yeah. He's, I don't he's messy. I don't and know what it's going Is it going to produce Yeah. I mean, there's the bananas right there. They're just not ripening. They're just taking forever, but that's the that's the banana. It looks like they're dying. Is that what it's supposed to be? Uh, that's just the flower. Yeah, that part's just the flower, like this right here. Mm. And so... The, this, Those are going to be some mini bananas. Yeah, that's the thousand fingers one. So they're just finger length. But they should start ripening, I thought, like a month ago. But they're taking their sweet time. And here's Cam's elbow display she just put together. And look at this pretty girl right here. That's a bunch of leaves, Cameron. Man, she's beautiful. And not a blemish on any leaf that I see. That's a really pretty one, man. All these aerial roots have already attached themselves to the, to the moss pole. It's beautiful. 
What else you got cool, Cam? Anything? Everything's cool. Uh, the jack about to put out a new leaf. Oh, yeah? Really... Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. She's got one unfurling right now. So this is Alocasia jacqueline really unusual kind of leaf vein leaf shape but you can see the new leaf on it unfurling right now and the mickey mouse it's looking cool everything looks really good out here bud oh nice Ken was just saying she got a bunch of ring of fires look at the color on that leaf man I've never seen one that pink. I know a lot of these have like this one. Yeah. They're all really different. They are. Oh, I was starting to show some pink on the ends. I wonder if that's due to just more sunlight. You reckon? I don't know. I hope I'm not killing them. I just no, wondering. no, you're not killing them. I was just wondering if maybe, you know, because it's getting a good bit of light over here by the by the wall, which we haven't finished yet. But that's another subject for another video. But maybe just because they're getting a good bit more light, they're starting to show some more more pink, kind of like Hoyas do, you reckon? Yeah. Hey, look at the little Spice over here. Spice, what you doing? You want to come out here in the jungle? You can't come out here right now. You like to mess with the birds. My waterfall clogged up again. Oh, somebody was asking about that uh, Queen's Tears. I answered them. Bermelia. Do we have some for them? Mm-hmm. I said... Oh, perfect. Yeah. So this is Queen's Tears Bromeliad. Really pretty Bromeliad. The blooms are kind of done right now, but they've got like bright purple and yellow on them. And uh, really, really cool Bromeliad there. And this is the mother plant to them up there on the on the wall. Oh, I meant to show you. This is the, uh, the Jose that I told you that we had about the same size, but it oh, just doesn't yeah. have as much, much variegation. variegation to it. It's a big dude though. It's doing good climbing up his moss pole too. Looks great out here, Cameron. I'm proud of you, buddy. All right, I gotta go get on my computer and get some work done. Hey, little kitty. How are you feeling? So the kitties had to go get fixed recently. A little spice here and her sister, Pumpkin, wherever. Hi, right, there's Pumpkin. Hey, buddy. They had to go get fixed here. Uh, what about a week ago, T? Yeah, it's been. Yeah, it was the 31st, so about a week. Yeah, so about a week ago. So they're still still recovering. Hey, Pumpkin, what are you doing, buddy? I don't want to do computer work. I want to go play in the greenhouse and play with plants. But we must do what we must have to do. But hey, this was on my desk. This is cool. So some of our seeds came in from Baker Creek. Let's see what we got. Hey, and look, they included a nice little note from baker creek and wilma packed up our seeds thanks wilma let's see we got our tomato berkeley tie-dye our i don't know how to pronounce it sark ro luis maybe oh and this is that cool one this is that spoon tomato that really tiny little tomato Ooh, blue cream berry tomato and i forgot we ordered this one remember this one guys it's called phil's two tomato then they threw in some free lettuce and then lastly in this order anyway is the burratino tomato so we'll get all of these things planted here probably at the end of the month that way we can get a jump start on spring we'll see if some of the ladies out in the greenhouse won't go ahead and put them in the soil for us get them spread it up springtime is going to be here before you know it and check it out when i sat back down on my desk i found another package I knew we ordered a lot more than just what I showed you guys just a second ago. And there's our beans, funky looking squash, our melon, whatever, some free carrot seeds. Oh, there's that dragon tongue bean. That one's gonna be fun to grow. And there's that 15 year old 100 cave bean. I remember I told you guys about that in the video where we ordered all the seeds. Christmas pole, lima bean. Uh, some more free lettuce. Oh, there's that funky looking Kajari melon. Aunt Molly's, that's that ground cherry. And uh, the jelly, <laughs> oh, that was gonna be fun to grow. Jelly melon. All right, now I gotta get to work for real. All right, we'll get to work after this last package. There's one more, I think this company sent us some samples to check out their product, Nature's Willow. 
There's some itch relief cream, some pain relief cream, and some itch relief cream. This will come in handy. The spring does get here because y'all know mosquitoes freaking love me. All right, now for serious, I'm getting to work. Okay, guys, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. So it's my birthday two days ago. I think the guys have got lunch for us downstairs. Maybe a cake. I don't know. But y'all got to act surprised when we walk down in a minute. I just heard them say on the radio, could everybody come up to the office for a minute? So uh, act surprised. Okay, they just called me downstairs. Let's go see what's happening. What you doing, Cameron? Hey, something, something smells good down here. What you guys got cooking? <laughs> hey guys, how y'all doing today? How are you doing? I does great. Hey, hey buddy. Hey it's me. What you got back here, girl? I figured y'all had something we going got on. Some, something going on. Can I see yet or do yeah, I have to Yeah, yeah. Oh, you go, probably. Of course. Hey, guys. Oh, this is not going up on your channel. <laughs> yes, it is. You, it will. It will. <laughs> it's Ryan's birthday. 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 Oh, he, check that out. He's 30, 34. Let's not tell everybody that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh. Hey, you know what? The sad part is I really thought I was 34 for a second. <laughs> Put you them back. What? Put them back Let's like you it. had it. You know what? Yeah, we that looks better than forty-three. That's perfect. <laughs> You're only as old as you feel. That's it. This is you now your mama, Chassie. Your mama said that you like pecan pie. I love pecan okay. pie. I've never made a pecan mama pie. don't lie. I love pecan pie too. Yeah. I've never made a pecan pie before, so I'm this sure is my first, it'll be delicious. My first foray. It it's not awesome. pretty, You're but so sweet. Thanks, it'll buddy. Eat. Welcome, buddy. Y'all the y'all the best. Thank you. This is the best team in the whole wide world. It's the best birthday ever. Right here. It is the best birthday ever. Thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. You're the best boss man in all the world. What'd you say again, Pam? I said you're the best boss man in all the world. You want to raise? Is that why you said that? Yes. <laughs> wow. Happy birthday to you. Get it, girl. Get it. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. I'll, I'll blow it this way so I don't blow it in your face. Yeah, I appreciate that. 34. Thanks, guys. Y'all are the best, man. That looks fantastic. Awesome. It does look good. That is homemade. Homemade. With love. With love. With love. I don't know if I should do this, but I think I should. What, what Would you do? like me to sing to you happy birthday backwards? Yes. All right. You ready? Yes. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I was like, oh, this is interesting. I got to see this. That was good. I like it. Thank you guys very much. Man, what an awesome day. I tell you what, I am uh, truly a blessed individual to have friends and coworkers like I do down here at Grassroots. They're just, uh, they're, they're just good people. And for them to put on that little thing, for me today just means the world and uh, they did a nice write up on Facebook for me over the weekend and just really touches my heart to have folks like we have down here at Grassroots in our lives and uh, just super grateful grateful for everything for friends for you guys just uh, it's been a fantastic day and I appreciate you guys spending it with me as you do all the time on the other videos and really means the world to me so but it's that time of day. We're ready to get out of here and do it all over again tomorrow. And so thank you guys very much for watching. The more you know, the more you grow. We'll see you on the next video. Bye, y'all.